shave their faces, real men shave. Good morning, Steve Cadella Show. This morning, I have an off screen cameraman. He mate's been staying with me for two weeks, and Lance is the reason why I've not had a moment to spare in the last two weeks to have a shave. Catching up on old times, going down to the beach for a swim, it has been a hell of a two weeks. This morning, as you can see, not shaving has given me a reason to be Steve, the daily shaver again. Well, this is a 30ml brush, uh, two band um, high top badger from eBay. And this thing cost me about $35 US, just under $50 at the exchange rate at the time. 30 mil, it's huge. So into the sink it goes. This morning for my shaving cream, it's Van Ule Mint Juliet. This was one of the ones she had on sale. As you can see, I've already pressed some into my bowl. And let's begin. You know, the three steps to good leather is froth, broth, then leather. So with the big brush in the big bowl, using my fine again, come around this way, and let's give it a beat and see what we wind up with. Today we're taking off quite a bit of um, shaving of face stubble. So I think I might even need a bit more, a bit more of the shaving cream. Yep. Well, that's a huge, put another dollop in, that's huge. Bit of water. Get some on me, get some in the sink, get some on my friends. Step two, and by the way, mint juliette. Very minty, smells beautiful. Now this morning, a 1920s gem open cone with a new blade net and this will be perfect for taking off this beard with zero effort I don't even feel the beard coming off it's like it's not even there for a hundred year old razor and a brand new single edge blade that has made short work of that. These single edge blades were designed for um, to replace the cutthroat razors that were the, well basically the razor that existed before single edges were invented. Then came DE's and the disposable razor. These could be stropped and kept sharp for longer. But at the price point in the aggro of stropping these days, I don't think anybody really bothers. Good time of the year here. Well, you're freezing your little titties off in the Northern Hemisphere. We're cooking ours and down the beach almost every day. And sometimes of an evening too, until dark. I've been swimming in 30 degrees, beautiful balmy Queensland weather. So for all those people that haven't come to visit me, serve yourself bloody right. <laughs> Go on, Zippity. Mind you, we don't really get winter, weather, winter. We don't get winter the way you do in the Northern Hemisphere. In Queensland, we kind of get your Florida, California weather. Now I have to even up my sideburns and a tiny bit under the bottom. Now, for the more delicate work, I'm gonna swap razors. I'll go and use the Wolfman for my final cleanup pass. In fact, I like using two razors, particularly if you're using an aggressive one, do you clean up with a milder one. All right, final face preparation. We will, I don't really need the alum, but the alum's good for when you've got a bit of steam. As you can see, I've put a bit of rubber band, like a band, on mine, so it's got a bit extra grip. Right, that's baby butt smooth. 
some Thayer's Witch Hazel. Just close up my paws and clean my skin. And this morning, this morning I'm going to use a little bit of my favourite suede face balm. Just a small amount will be more than sufficient. Fantastic scent this. Mm. Mm. That feels absolutely brilliant on your skin. And lastly, an aftershave. I think good old fashioned old spice will be sweet enough to just, yeah, that will match in with the suede just nicely. Well, there you go. Back from a two week hiatus. Perfectly groomed. All the stubble out of the way. Ladies, watch out. Remember, good food, good friends could change their men. And while it's nice to be important, it's far more important to be nice. Go forth, spread the good message. Wet shaving, good for you, good for the family, good for the pets if they can outrun you. Remember, I'm wishing you all the very best of shaves. Good shaves and goodbye.